Welcome to game 16 of the 1973 Tom Seaver replay. Um, today, the New York Mets travel to Wrigley Field to play the Chicago Cubs. I have displayed the statistics for Tom Seaver through 15 games, and uh, he just had a uh, tough loss against the Pittsburgh Pirates in his last start, um, but he is ready to go today to face the Chicago Cubs. So uh, let's see what uh, he can do. Look at the numbers, they're uh, pretty close. As far as for hits, earned runs, walks, strikeouts, home runs, ERA, it's uh, playing out well. But again, like most importantly with the replays, I just like am really enjoying the game. So I think that's the most important thing. First batter is Don Hahn for the it's first time we've seen him in this replay. He's a right-hander versus Rick Russell, and uh, Russell is 14 and 15 with a 3.0 ERA, 3.0 ERA in 1973. We got a 5-4 versus a righty. That's a ballpark single chance, so we are in Wrigley Field. Take a quick look at those. In Wrigley Field, it is a 1 to 12 for a right hander for a single. That's a 15, so he lines out the shortstop. Felix Mian. We got a 5. He's a righty. 5 7 fly out to center field. Wayne, the lefty, Wayne Garrett, 4-7, single. Rusty Staub, nothing on the Havoc. 4-9, all on the pitcher's cards today. Tri triple one, single, 2-20. to 20. Single, two stars for Staub. Garrett goes to third. We got first and third, two outs for Ed Cranepool. Nothing on the Havoc. All on the pitcher's card so far. Four, five, fly out to right. So stop, can't bring in the run. So now we will bring in Seaver. Against the Rick Monday, Glenn Beckert, and Jose Cardinal. 3 6 versus a righty, struck him out. Glenn Beckert. 4 3 versus a righty. Ballpark single chance, we know a righty has won the 12. 18, lines out to short. Jose Cardinal. 3 7 versus a righty. Fly out to center. So, nothing for anyone in the first. We move on to the second. The Mets will bring Milner, Hodges, and Martinez against Rick Russell. 5-7 versus a lefty. That's a strikeout. The catcher, Ron Hodges. 6-9 versus a lefty. Struck him out. Ted Martinez. 3-10 versus a righty. Ground out to third. Okay, so Seaver, who retired all three batters in the first, will be facing Bork, Santo, and Adrian Garrett. Bork's a lefty. Seaver gives a 
pro four five versus a lefty. Ooh, that's an N. He's a normal home run, which he is. That'll be a home run one to thirteen. Double fourteen to twenty. Double off the Ivy for Pat Bork. Worked out of 209 in 1973. Seven homers and 20 RBIs. We do the Havoc for the Cub favorite, Ron Santo. 2-8. Home run, 1-12, to 12, double 13-20. to 20. Home run, Ron Santo. Wrigley fans love it. Santos stats in 1973, 267, 20 home runs and 77 RBIs. Nice two-run homer for Santo. Brings up the lefty, Adrian Garrett. 311, diamond chance. So we've had three possibilities for home runs here. So for a lefty at Wrigley, it is a 1-9 to nine is a home run. So let's see if he can get it. One to nine. Two gone. Back to back home runs. Three runs, no outs. Garrett with fifty four at bats. And again, we're doing we're doing as played. We're doing as played, so Three home runs for Garrett, only 54 at-bats in 1973, but uh, makes the most of it by homering off Sieber. So no outs, three runs, Randy Hunley, 6-7 versus a righty, struck him out. Don Kessinger, two-nine versus a righty. Found out to the pitcher, and Rick Russell. Two nine, ground out to first. So three runs for the Cubs here in the bottom of the second. The Cubs have went through their order. They'll have the leadoff spot, Rick Monday, in the third. Seaver will be leading off for the Mets here in the top of the third. One eight struck him out. Top of the order for the Mets, Don Hahn. Let's see what Hahn can do here. 1-5 versus a righty. That's a strikeout. Felix Mian. 2-5 versus a righty ground out to short. So, 1-2-3 inning for Russell. In the third, the Cubs will be the top of the order with Rick Monday leading off. Lefty up against Seaver. 4 9 walked. Seaver struggling a little bit today. Attic roll. Nothing that. 1 11 versus a righty. It's a ballpark single chance. The righties are 1 to 12. And Wrigley. Five, that's a single one star. Monday moves to second. Cardinals the batter. No outs. Ten on the Havoc. Five, eight versus a righty. Ground ball, second base X. That's the Felix Mian. Let's see what this brings. 
It is a one, which means he's a two e ten, so that's a single one base. Nine out of ten, no error. So single runner advances one base. Me Neon can't make the play. We got bases loaded, no outs for Pat Bork, who doubled his last at bat. Nothing on the Havoc. 3 5 or so righty. Fly ball right field B. That means we got a score. Or do we got a. Let me just check that. 3 5. Fly ball right field B with a question mark. So let me just double check that. Get the focus together here. Okay, I just wanted to check Monday's uh, running rating. It's a 16. You get a plus 2, which brings it to a 18 on a question mark. Um, the arm of Straub is a minus 4 in right field. So uh, it would be a 1 to 14. And... Uh, So I think I think the waiter hitting and eh, one to fourteen he'll go for it. Nine, he scores. So Bork sacrifice flies. Monday scores. Ron Santo homered last time up is up. Nothing on the havoc. 3-7. Okay, so ground ball pitcher A. That's a double play. Seaver gets out of that. Not too bad with the bases loaded, no outs. Only one run. So, Cubs take a 4 to nothing lead here. We move on to the 4th. And let's see what the Mets have at the plate. They will go Wayne Garrett. Rusty Staub and Ed Cranepool. Five nine versus a lefty. Struck him out. How about Rick Russell today. Solid game in home and Wrigley Field. At least to this point. Six three versus a lefty. Fly out the left. Ed Cranepool, another lefty. 1 8 versus a righty, ground out to second. This. Up for the Cubs in the bottom of the fourth are Garrett Hundley and Kessinger. 6 11 versus a lefty. Fly ball right field X. That is Stav. He's a 3E7. So let's check the chart on that. We have a single. And let's check the error. No error, but it is a single. So Garrett, two for two today against Seaver. That key home run there, back in the second. Nothing on the Havoc. I don't know why this focus is causing an issue here. Three, two versus a righty. Fly ball left field B. Don Kessinger. Nothing on the Havoc. 4 9 versus a left hander because uh, Kessinger's a switch hitter. That's a walk. 
Rick Russell. What did he do here? Let's do um let's do a bunt. Even though there's one out. Let's seven. So he sacrifices them over. We got runners on second and third. Two outs for Rick Monday. Receiver has been struggling all afternoon. He's down four nothing. Nothing on the havoc. Five three versus a lefty ground ball pitcher X. Receiver is a three E twenty six. So ten. Three is a G three. E twenty six. He's a nine on an E twenty six. That's a one base error. And a nine on an E twenty six. I'm just double checking that. One base error. Receiver. Run scores. Glenn Beckert. Nothing on the havoc. Three seven. Fly out to center field. Receiver gets to three outs, gives up another run. He is down five nothing here. We move on to the fifth inning. Where the Mets will have Milner, Hodges, and Martinez. Five five versus a lefty. That's a possible home run. One to seven. Gone. Milner. I think he homered last game, too. So John Milner put the Mets on the board. It is five to one. Ron Hodges, another lefty. One ten versus a righty ground out to second base. Ted Martinez. 4-2 versus a righty, fly out to left, and we're going to leave Seaver in there, he's only went 4, 1-10, struck him out, that's score 1 on a Milner home run, it's 5-1, to one. Chicago, We have for the Cubs, we have Cardinal, Bork, and Santo. So Cardinal, six three versus a righty. That's a fly ball left field X. Crane pool. He's a 4E6. That's falls for a single. 11 on an E6. This falls for a, gets a Cardinal gets a single. Pat Bork. Seaver can't get through a solid inning here. 1 6 versus a righty, pop out to first. And Ron Santo. Nothing on the havoc. We got a 6 7 um, versus a righty. Struck him out. Adrian Garrett. 
nothing on the Havoc roll. 1-6 righty, struck him out. So Seaver brings it to 5-1 to one on the Milner home run. Keeps it close. Let's see if the Nets can do anything more. They got the top of the order with Don Hahn. Okay, let's see what we do here. Don Hahn, 6-6 six, six versus a righty. That's a single, oops, excuse me. Yep, that's a single to right field for Hahn. Brings up Felix Mian. Nothing on the Havoc. 4-8 versus a righty. Struck him out. Three. Nothing on the Havoc. The lefty, Wayne Garrett. 5-2 versus a lefty. Fly out to center field. Rusty Staub. Nothing on the Havoc. Let's take a quick look here. Yeah. 1 7 versus a righty fly out to center field. So, we move on to the bottom of the six. The Cubs have Hundley, Kessinger, and Russell. One eight versus a righty single to right field. Switch hitter shortstop Kessinger, nothing on the havoc. Three nine versus a righty. It's a double one to eighteen, single nineteen to twenty. That's a single two stars. First and third, no outs. Rick Russell. He's going to hit away. Seaver having a difficult day today. 2 9, ground ball first base A. That's a double play. Um, Hundley scores. Three, six, three. So we got two outs, one run scored. Rick Monday is the batter. No men on base. 1 8 versus a righty. There we go. Look at that. 1 to 19 home run. Gone. Rick Monday homers. We got to get Seaver out of there. Let's see what we can get here. Okay, Monday hits a blast into the over the ivy in right field, Mets bring in Buzz Capra with two outs here in the bottom of the six. 3-3, three, three, Capra's a righty, ground out to second base. So the Cubs score two more runs. That is seven to one. Cubs, Rick Russell throwing a very solid game. The Mets will have Crane Pool, Milner, and Ron Hodges here in the top of the seventh. Let's check Crane Pools. 3-6 versus a righty. That's a ground out to first. Johnny Milner, who homered his last at bat. 3 4 versus a righty, ground out to first. And Ron Hodges, another lefty. 2 5, single. Ted Martinez. 
nothing on the Havoc. 6-6 six, six versus a righty. That's a single to right field. First and second. We will bring in a pinch hitter for a Capra spot. That will be Cleon Jones. Let's see what he can do. And the Mets will have to bring in a pitcher in the bottom of the seventh. But they got to try to get some runs here. Nothing on the Havoc. 3-5 struck him out. So Cleon Jones can't do anything. Mets don't score in the seventh. We need a pitcher for the Mets. The Cubs have Cardinal, Bork, and Santo. See the Mets got here. We'll bring in Harry Parker. Capra pitched one out in the bottom of the six. Harry Parker will face Cardinal, Bork, and Santo. 3-4, Parker's a righty, struck him out. Pat Bork. 4-7 versus a lefty, struck him out. And the crowd favorite, Ron Santo. Let's take a look here. One nine versus a righty. Struck him out. So Harry Parker strikes out the side in the bottom of the seventh. Still a seven to one game. Cubs in front. Mets have the top of the order here with Han, Neon, and Garrett versus a solid game by Rick Russell. 1 9 versus a righty, struck him out. Felix Mian. Sometimes when you do that focus in there. Three eleven versus a righty. That's a ground out to first. Two six versus a righty. Home run one to eleven. Double twelve to twenty. Double for Wayne Garrett. I think Russell is fatigued here. Let's check the quick rules here and uh, I'll read them out to you. But I think I'm going to have him still finish the inning. Um, the way the rule reads. A if he reaches POW inning, which he's had because it's the seventh, it's past the seventh, and allows any combination of four hits or unintentional walks in any two consecutive innings. Now well, he's got three, so one more and he's fatigued. Nothing for Staub on the Havoc. 6-8 versus a lefty, ground out to second. So the Mets have zero in the eighth. Parker is going to stay in the game. He will face Garrett, Hundley, and Kessinger. Six, 
six six versus a lefty. Line out to first. Randy Hundley. One seven versus a righty. Single one to six. So three. That's a single for Hundley. Kessinger. Nothing on the Havoc. He's a switch hitter, so he's batting the lefty versus a righty. 112 line out max. So we got an L line out four back to the first baseman. Doubles off Hundley. And then we have that. So we're down to the last three outs for the Mets. With Rick Russell throwing a masterpiece here in Brugley with a 7 to 1 lead. Seaver got knocked around early. So he was out of there in the six. So we have Crane Pool, Milner, and Hodges to face Rick Russell. And the Wrigley crowd is on their feet for Russell for a complete game. Crane Pool, 5 7, lefty, struck him out. Johnny Milner, who homered back in the fifth. 4-11 versus a lefty. Fly ball left field X, that's Adrian Garrett. He's a 4-E25, so he's not too sturdy out there. 4-4, four, four, he does not get to it. That's a double for Milner. And 13 and a 25. And a two-base error. So total mess by Garrett. The Wrigley fans are not happy with him. The error he scores on with a two-base error. So he must have, who knows where he threw that ball once he got it. Um, but Milner scores. Ron Hodges, a double and an error by Adrian Garrett, brings Milner home. 7-2 to two game. Ron Hodges is the batter. Russell is still in there. 4-3 lefty, ground ball first base sex, Pat Bork, he's a 4 also, so we have a sturdy team in there, 12-4, he makes the play, 7, 12, 12 on a 23, that's a one base error, the Wrigley fans are not happy with the fielding plays here, Ted Martinez, 11. 6 11 versus a righty. Brown ball shortstop B. That's a fielder's choice. We have two outs. And we will bring in a pitch hitter. Let's bring Willie Mays in. So Willie Mays will be up against Russell. The Mets are down to their last out. Runner on first, two outs. We have a 7-2 to two ball game. Russell looking to close it out. Let's check the Havoc. Nothing on the Havoc with an 8. We got a 3-9. Versus a righty. Struck him out. Ends the game. Mets score one. No need for the bats in the ninth. Seven to two Cubs. Cubs won the game in real life four to three. It was back on June 29th of 1973. Seaver gets the loss. Russell gets the win. Thanks for joining. Um, Seaver's record drops to eight and six. Um, but it's a tough couple games, but uh, we can always see a nice run. Thanks for joining.